We're not going outside. It's raining, kitty. Good morning, everyone. If you hear the sound, it's been a while since last time we heard that. Even kitty doesn't remember. So this morning I woke up and I don't know if you see it, once in a while my heater lights turn on. So the thing is, they say heater run require start. Uh, let's start. 20 minutes. They say preventing maintenance. So that's pretty cool. My Robusto warned me, I think it's probably a month, month and a half since the last time I used my heater. I used a couple of times up north when it was a little bit chilly in the morning. But uh, yeah, so last year too, I've done that once in my travel trip. Uh, they ask you for a lot of madness to start your heater so it doesn't have anything plugged, it doesn't have any, you know, little maintenance. So as well. You know, the winter season is going to start pretty soon, maybe <laughs> a couple months, two or three months. I might, I'm definitely going to need some heaters. So, you know, instead of having that breaking down in the middle of winter, uh, just a little clean up in the middle of summer. It's all right. And it's 20 degrees, so it's going to be hot in the van soon. It's all right. It's cold outside, so it's a good it's a good day to do a test and uh, let the the eater run because I can open the window and let the cold air inside, no problems. I think uh, today because it's uh, in and out of rain, uh, I think I'm going to do a little Q&A with all of you Christian guys. It's something that I wanted to do now that we almost finish this part all the way here. Almost, almost all the way there, but I still have to uh, uh, paint and fix a couple of things here. But we've done a lot uh, in the past month now, I think almost a month that I've been slowly working on this. Um, and you guys have a lot of questions and I was like, okay, I need to do a QA. and a But before I answer your question, let's just take a look at what we've done so far for the past month. So, first of all, I remove all my ceiling, remove all the reflective that was useless and we put a proper insulation, half an inch pink insulation and we cover everything with a nice finished wood. Uh, so we redone the side of my van Restained, revarnish, making it look fresh again, and we repaint all the old recycled wood that I had inside the van too as well. We make a nice door with my picture that I frame, and make all the little adjustment inside the van so it look nice and cozy. So first question, I have a couple of people asking me about this square here. I feel like I'm in the airplane exit this way uh, there's uh, no exit right now on this way uh, but people are asking me what's what's that so this gonna be a fan eventually get uh, someone it's gonna install um, I'm not gonna install the fan only because I have a high top and fiberglass and you cannot like stand on my roof you gotta slide uh, and I've just apparently I think you can do it from the inside uh, I decide that someone's gonna do it for me so I'm not sure when it's exactly gonna be September October even who knows uh, maybe at the end of the winter I don't really care exactly when it's gonna be because that's gonna be useful in the winter when I'm cooking but also mostly uh, useful in the summer so Right now, it's just on pause, uh, but someone's gonna install this fan for me. And it's mostly gonna be a Max Air fan. I got as well a little question about my picture. People ask me where, which company that I use for them. 
Uh, I found only with all my research, I found only one company that was here in Canada that do not custom, but they had several size and they do printing on paper, printing on Canva, printing on wood, I think as well. Uh, but this one was print on metal with a glass finish. So I'm going to put the link because they give me a 20% discount, which I didn't have when I record the video. So if some of you wanted to look at it, print your own thing. And I got a lot of questions about people asking me because I purchased a saw to as well to cut this plywood and people, do you know what I mean? That you can go at Home Depot to get cut. Yes, I know Home Depot um, do cut for free here in Canada. Some place I think you have to pay, but for free uh, when you purchase wood from their Home Depot, obviously. Uh, so I didn't do it there. I've done a couple of times when I was building the van at the beginning. Uh, this countertop was cut by them and a couple of little things just because I didn't have a good saw. I only have a jigsaw and a drill when I built the first time the, the van. So this time I know I'm going to build a better bed. I know I'm going to be my custom um, cabinet. So I'm going to need a good saw. That's why I purchased a saw. But yes, you can use Home Depot if we need it. I found that, you know, don't go there with like 50 cut. They may not be so happy, but the uh, one cut or two, I'm sure they can help you. <laughs> and the door were cut on three quarter inch uh, plywood, a good finished plywood, only because I wanted something strong. Yes, they are semi heavy uh, because I didn't want to have a bow into the door. They are pretty long. And I thought that half an inch will maybe have a bow. So I went on the three quarter. Three quarter is usually what people use for cabinet door. It's usually the size. So that's why I went with that. And I also had a ton of people asking me, Amy, are you going to sell some of your prints, some of your picture? Thank you so much for those who want some of mine. Um, this is something that I had in my mind to maybe do one time. This is the first time that I print my picture. Uh, I've never done it before and it turned out better than I thought to be honest. I'm super picky with my picture, like really picky. Uh, so probably in the future, maybe in the month or two, maybe, uh, I'm going to work on printing some of my picture that I already took uh, and see what they look like and make a little gallery or a little something for you for those of you who want some print uh, thank you so much by the way uh, but yeah the reason why I never sell some of my prints some of the picture that I took was done with old picture like my bear so it's a little bit on the blurry side the bear is not gonna be for sale but this one turned out great so I'm gonna have to look at all my picture that I've done in the past or I've done the picture that I've done in this channel and the road trip we've done and just see what's you know can be done in uh, in the print and all this but yeah probably probably in the mother too I'm looking for <laughs> to do some tests and to print a couple of my picture so the other question that I had was about all the hardware that I use to build my door so on top here I use a piano inch is 36 inches long because that's the length of my door. I use those, um, they call it hydraulic inches. You can find that at Home Depot, same thing here was Home Depot, both of them. And I changed something. This is why I so wanted to make a video because I changed a couple of things. Uh, so I changed my hardware, my magnet here. I used to have a magnet that you just push and you can open the door. Uh, this I purchased at Home Depot, but didn't work out because I went in the back country and then it just boop, 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 slowly open. <laughs> so I realized it's not gonna work. So I changed to this hardware, uh, same hardware that I use for a couple of my door. Uh, this is great if you don't have anything that push on your door. They are super cheap, like two daughters at Home Depot and uh, easy to install. And if you don't have anything that push again a, a door, you should not have your door to open. In the worst case, it's not a big deal if this door open if I'm back country and I have a really like things moving around uh, because didn't have any door previously, but I've done some tests in the back country and it stayed closed. So it looked like it's okay. And I only put one and the hinge only one on one side. And I do have my little lights 
that people was like are you sure they only open when you open the door? <laughs> yes, because I can see a little glance here. I can see <laughs> if they will open in the middle of the day or anything, but they, they stay closed, so. Also, I'm not sure if I'm gonna put the door in the wall. Right now, I kind of I kind of put my finger and just tuck it. It's not the best. I don't want to damage the frame itself. So, um, maybe I'm gonna try to look. I look online, I didn't find what I want, but yeah, eventually, maybe something's gonna happen for that. Another question that a lot of people ask as well why do I only use Chrome Shop? Uh, Chrome offer a shop, it kindly offer a shop. I'm currently on the mainland, and Chrome Shop is on Vancouver Island, so I have to take the ferry. The ferry is about $100, so it's not something that I can just, you know just go and you know so so when I decide to go on Vancouver Island I'm gonna stay there for a little bit so this is why I'm not there right now uh, and I might use the shop for a couple of things but I do enjoy to working outside to be quite honest it's not a joke I love always every time that my father's got a little shop at home and I was putting everything outside because I just love on the sunny day to work outside uh, so I might use the shop for a couple of things um, or if I need some tools or whatever but right now I've been just enjoyed to work outside and but we're gonna go to Chrome Shop eventually to do a couple projects that's for sure and I couldn't find a comment but I saw a couple of uh, times that oh Amy you spend so much money for something that just aesthetic who cares what your value look like for most of the thing that I've done so far it's not just aesthetic uh, we remove the reflective that I had on my ceiling because it was affecting my internet connection and reflective is not an insulation it's very 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 weak uh, to reflect it to work you need the sun to reflect the sun uh, so it's, it's it was not affecting I was just losing all my heat in the winter especially when the heater was on and I had a hard time to keep a good temperature in the van when it was really, really cold outside. So hopefully this winter, that's gonna make a difference. And I decided to go with wood, so it's more durable than just my little fabric that I had before. Uh, this year we will use it. We only restain and revarnish uh, the front to the white part. It was wood padded and it's still the same. I just painted a white. Uh, and doing the frame, yes, it's to make it a little bit more cute if you want, but it's also the purpose that's gonna keep all the heat inside the van in the winter, because I'm not gonna have to uh, warm up that big open space and the same thing in the back, you know, so I can keep all my heat where I want it to be in the living space. So in the countertop, we just remove uh, the stain that I had on it and just re-varnish, so no income, no, purchase there so most so far most of the thing that I've done it was only to um, only recycle what I only had already and just making things better in terms of insulation and also I think I can you know spoil myself with a little bit of you know <laughs> little cute things are here and there uh, it make my van more like a living space than living inside the van so that's why you know I cover this just for the purpose that I don't want to see my <laughs> my wire hanging there uh, and we're gonna have a nice little shelf and things like this so yes things are a little bit on the aesthetic but also into the um, making this van better also the cabinet when I'm gonna be doing that um, I might reuse some part I'm still not there of what I want to do with that but the cabinets some of them falling apart the same thing with my bed things are just like moving all the time so it's not safe if I have an accident so I do have to take care of that aspect too so so I hope guys that answer your question like I said I'm probably gonna do that maybe one or twice again uh, until the van bill is completely done just to answer your question I know not everyone start following me when I start build, doing the van build so I do have also a playlist if you want to catch everything that happened in the past month uh, the playlist called van build so you can get from from the beginning to where we are right now if you want to see everything uh, so I hope that I answer your question 
I'm gonna wait me here for a package. I'm waiting for a package to arrive to do a little bit more project. Um, and it's a rainy day. So I think it's a perfect day to wait for a package. So I hope you enjoy. I'm gonna let you with Miss Kitty. Don't forget to subscribe guys. It means the world when you're subscribing to my channel. Um, and I'll let you with Kitty. What are you doing? Having a nap? Yeah. <laughs> Do you wanna give us a little kiss? Oh, no. I think Kelly, she's grumpy because she cannot go outside today. <laughs> and by the way, she's gonna get her window back. Don't worry. I opened this door in the, in the, at night so she can sleep there. I put a little bed there, but so far she didn't use it, but it's there if she wanted. But our beds uh, is probably gonna be on this side there instead of the opposite. That's coming soon, Doris. She's gonna have a little window back.